when Irene rushed through uh, this area of Vermont, the White River expanded dramatically. It washed out the roads on either sides and it flooded houses that were built very close to the river. So we need to start thinking about as we make decisions of where we're going to invest money in future infrastructure, does it really make sense to be building so close to our rivers? We're really lucky in Vermont in that over the last couple of years, the, the rivers program here that's a part of the Department of Environmental Conservation has been working on a first of its kind statewide map showing us exactly where along the rivers uh, we have serious erosion problems. So if we're going to have another storm event like Tropical Storm Irene, where along the river do we need to be extra aware not to, to build in the future? Where are we going to see the most erosion and flooding? So far, some communities are starting to look at these maps and integrate them into the planning process, figuring out where future development is going to be. But the majority of communities, almost three quarters of communities, have not yet integrated these so-called river corridor maps into their planning process. The catastrophic and destructive impacts of Irene don't have to be inevitable. This is one area where we should focus to make sure that we don't have as much destruction along our riverways in the future. The next way that we can be Vermont strong 